A semantic network, sometimes referred to as a concept map, is a tool used to graph the relationships between objects or ideas. Let's take a look at how to form such a network. Pick a concept to start out with. In this example, we'll use school. What are some ideas you can connect to the idea of school? One might be homework. Another might be bus. And a third could be student. Now, there are a lot more ideas you can connect to school, but for the purposes of this example, we'll just stick to three. Now that we have a start to the network, we can look more closely at the three branches that come from school. Let's look at bus and treat this branch as the new start. What are some concepts and ideas we can connect to the idea of bus? Besides school, we can connect yellow, smelly, and transportation. Notice that some of these ideas are culture specific. Most Americans will easily be able to see the relationship between yellow and bus because most school buses in America are yellow. However, not everyone will have this connection in place. Let's expand the network even further. Yellow can be connected to color, orange, and banana. And banana can be connected to food, potassium, and monkeys. Then monkeys can be connected to animal and jungle. We can also connect back to other places in the graph, such as back down to Smelly. By this point, the network is getting fairly large. Notice how many different ideas and relationships can come into play. Let's examine some other types of semantic networks, such as this chart from comicbookmovie.com, which shows the relationships between all characters in the Marvel Universe. Notice that within a semantic network, it is possible to specify the type of relationship identified. In this chart, the relationships are divided into categories such as family or enemy. This semantic network outlines the divisions, subdivisions, and relationships between themes and the Great Gatsby. Semantic networks are useful tools for organizing ideas and noticing patterns, and can be used as study guides in academic work. Our long-term memory acts as a semantic network. Although we can't see the connections between relationships visually, they are nonetheless present. Memories are stored more securely in our brain if they are connected to another idea. When we consume media, we are constantly drawing on and expanding the information in the semantic network within our mind. We notice connections between the characters and plot events, and we relate the story to our personal experiences. Understanding this vast network of meaning is critical to fully understanding what occurs within our minds as we consume media.